dun sa long way. Pasok tayo dito. Long way. Ayan. So, tingnan natin kung ano meron sa long way. So, Yan ang mga kiwi fruits. Yan po sila. Mababa lang. Kiwi farm. Malapad. 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 Mal and here we are, guys. My friend is taking honey, Nina. Can you try it? You have to try it first. Is it nice? Can I have two? Why? That's why they put the things here so you can allow them to Okay, cover it. I guess not. Different. I don't like it. The other one. Nina, can you open it? Mom, Hold on. Which one did you try? This one. You like that one. What about this one? I think this one is more. Ayan, guys. My free testing po dito. Para makabili ka ng honey. Ayan. Try na to, um. Mas lamig ni Kyle. This is the ni nice one. Naman ay kain natin. Ayan. So, ito po yung store. Ayan po yung gawa sa mga honey. Skin. So, meron din po iba't ibang klase ng uh, yan, mga bum yata. Ayan yung yung kahani. Okay, later. So, ito po yung so, si Doggy, oh, nag entertain din siya. So, we are here in Kiwi Fruit Country. Sit down, so, ayan. Sit, 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 sit down. Ayan po. Sit down. Sit Pabenta yung manuka honey. Yan, yung mga pabentang honey. Ano to comb honey? Hindi ko alam paano gamitin to. <coughs> Merong quality new comb honey. Yan lang kung saan gagamitin yan. Eto, manuka. Eto, pang pabango. Yan. So, yan po yung mga cubicles. Ito yung ginagamit nila para sa honey bee. So, naka-gear din sila. Ito si Bas. Si Bas. Naka-gear din sila kapag ka... So, ito po yung individual ng honey. Ito po yung nilalagyan. So, ito yung bahay ng mga honey. Ito po yung ginagawa nilang honey. So, ayan po yan. Ayan. Kaya po yan, naka, sa mga farm, honey farm, may mga ano sila mga nakabox-box na gano'n. So, sa loob niyan, ito po yung pictures. Sa loob ng yan. Ito po yung loob nan. Dito po na mamahay yung mga honey. Gumagawa po sila ng mga. 
Wala mo mo importo sa mga ko na. Mama ni mo eh. Ma. Ano pa sa ni? Itap lang. Itap. Yan po yun. So, tingnan natin yung the other side kasi later on pupunta na po tayo ng ito po yung sa store in this area naman po ha in this area naman po is ito igawa naman sa mga kiwi ito sabon yan sabon na kiwi yan sabon pa bango yan may mga ano din oh pang pamukha yes kiwi Yeah. Ito, may kiwi blanket. Mahal naman, $60 talaga. So, ito, bibili ako ng ref magnet. Wala na ba? Ref magnet ba ito, ta? Hindi yata. Ay, wala na unod. Ay, na to. Press magnet. Tapos, meron pa di siya. Eto. Kano po? Bala. And the other one is for Bala. Look at you, guys. Can I see you? Come here, come here, come here. Ayan, ganda po na area na coffee area. Coffee area. So, down na ba down? Can I have a coffee, please? <laughs> no! <laughs> How much can it? So, ayan, dito meron din po yung mga pabenta. Yung mga pabenta din dito. Ito po, second. Ito naman, mga jam. Ninay. Ito mga jam ng mga kiwi fruits. <laughs> So, ayan. Iba't ibang klase ng kiwi fruits. Ayan. Puro jam. Puro jam po yan lahat. Fijowa. Ah, fijowa pala yung isa. So, ayan. Ayan. Ito. Ang ganda dyan, oh. So, ayan. Merong dried kiwi. May vitamins din, oh, na kiwi. So, ito yung mga jam. Pwede nating i-try. No, i-try. Ito, try ko itong mga kiwi jam. Isa lang, ha? So, I go first. Ano? I go first in kiwi jam. This one. I'll try it. Try na. Masya ba? Lumay. Sour. Next one. Kiwi fruit. Lagi, okay, try nga na ito nang... One more. Mmm. A bit sweeter. The other one. It's fijua. Aslum na ba? Aslum git kaya ang aslum. Aslum? Mmm. Yummy. The other one. Ito, try natin. Kiwi release. Anong kiwi release? Parang ano? Pickle na? Parang pickle style. Hindi ko gusto ano eh. Mmm, sarap. Meron din silang chutney. Kaya ayaw ko ng tiki. Yan, dalawang klase ng chutney. May hot at saka medium hot. Merong... Eh, hindi ko alam ito. Merong... Ito din, iba. Hindi ko alam. Try naman natin ngayon yung kiwi fruit nila. Dinay. Tingnan natin. Mmm, samarap, tamis. Itong dry. Asun ki na. Try natin yung dry. Asun na daw. Tanan ki kao lang. The other one. The gold one. Gold one. Dried gold. Sarap siya. Mmm, isog na ako. Your reaction. Mmm. Ito po yung farm. Ah, ito ka asim, guys. 
Oh, we're going? Yeah, we're going. We're going, okay. You want to come with us? You want to come with us? You just take a cab. You leave the station. Oh, I leave. Oh, you want? I leave the rest magnet on the counter. I pay it later when coming back. Putus putus sekarang. So, ayan po guys, magtutor po kami ngayon sa Kiwi Farm. So, ayan, may trailer po na pupunta with us. So, ayan. My name is Simon. I'm going to be your uh, tour guide here. Yeah. Uh, this, uh, this time of the season for us is summer. Uh, summer is the growth period of our Kiwi Farm. This particular property is growing two varieties of Kiwi. The green Kiwi and the gold keep. Uh, the property next door, which belongs to another company, is growing the new red keep. Now, oh. some of you may not have seen the red. It was in the market at the beginning of uh, last year, uh, about um, March, February, late February, early March. Uh, but there was only one shipment up there, then it's gone. The same thing will happen again this year. Uh, it's still in its trial um, stage. Uh, we did send a shipment to uh, Singapore uh, last year just to test and Japan as well. Uh, they've got to see how well it travels, they've got to see how well it sits on the supermarket there. Um, so we'll check out the, uh, the red one, unfortunately we don't have that here for us to, to sell there. But at least you'll be aware of it when you see it on the marketplace uh, but later on. Welcome to take photographs. If you have any questions, uh, please ask. Uh, yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Wala siya gunit gunit pa grabing irua oy. Ayan, dito na po. Kaya alam po umuulan pero okay lang. So we can do very good. Too many fruit on the plant. So the idea is get rid of some fruit that we can't use because it's misshapen or something as such. And then the plant's going to put its energy into what we're going to eat. These are the green ones. We'll look at the gold ones shortly. So come on in. Wow. Now the kiwi fruit is not a native of New Zealand. The kiwi fruit is a native of mainland awesome. China. Awesome. The seeds arrived in this country 1904 and we've been growing them here ever since. Now the first thing we discover about the kiwi fruit is that they grow on a vine. Okay. So this is not a tree, it's not a bush, this is a vine like grapes. Vines as we know cannot support themselves. So we have to create support and hence these poles in the ground, these cross beams here, wires to create a canopy and the idea is we lie the canes on top of the wires so the fruit can hang down below. Yeah, that's The why. second thing we discover is that we're going to have to have both a male plant and a female plant. This plant here, which has all the fruit on it, and it's on the other side as well as this side, so it's covering a large area, is a female plant. This plant over here, on my left, has no fruit on it, 
It is a male plant. This is only required for its flowers in spring for yes. pollination purposes. Oh, yeah. We put them in the orchards, one male, four female. Now, in actual fact, this entire row is males, and then we have rows of females on either side there. Springtime comes, uh, October, November. The flowers open. We then will bring bees into the orchard to do the pollination. We hire bees from the beekeeper. Oh. We need about nine beehives per hectare. And these are the two tiered boxes about this size. And they'll have 25 to 30,000 bees in each box. We need them for 10 days. That's enough time to do the pollination. We have a problem. Not a problem with the bees. There's a major problem in the Northern Hemisphere in Europe and North America with bees, but we don't have it in New Zealand. Our problem is the flowers. The flowers have no nectar. And of course, as you know, that's what the bees are looking for. And it wouldn't take them too long to come into the orchard, discover there's no nectar here, go back to the hive, tell everybody there's nothing in here for us, and they go and look somewhere else. So the beekeeper will trick the bees into doing the pollination. And the way he does that is he feeds the hives a sugar syrup. Now, if you imagine a big jug, half full of sugar, half full of warm water, he will stir that up until the sugar breaks down into the water and then pour that into the beehive. Now that will replace the nectar that they would normally get from the flowers. And the bees don't know that it's artificial. All they know is that there's plenty of nectar there. And uh, so when they go out, they don't bother about nectar. They just bring back the pollen from the flowers. The pollen is that yellow powder that they will pick up from the male flower and rub off onto the female flower. All of these fruit we see here uh, were originally flowers. So 10 days is enough time, but this means the beekeeper's doing all the work and we're just waiting for pollination to be complete. So after that period, uh, the beekeeper takes the hives out over our summer months, January, February, March, these fruit will continue to grow and ripen. They're starting to size up now, but if you feel them, rock hard. Just behind you, there's some you can feel there. Yeah. Until April and May of this year. April and May for us yes, is autumn. It's too hard. Now, at that point, they're ready for picking. They are not ready for eating. They're only half ripe. But we pick them when they're half ripe to enable us to store them for a long period. And we have to be able to store them for a long period because the supermarkets worldwide want everything 12 months. This orchard here is one of 2,500 orchards that we can find throughout the region. And when it comes to harvest time, labor is the problem. Trying to get enough people. Now in a normal year we would have local people assisting, we'd have backpackers, that's tourists who've got a work visa coming here, we'd be bringing people in from the Pacific Islands and we'd be bringing people in from Southeast Asia, Malaysia, Indonesia and uh, Thailand. Uh, not the Philippines. At Why? This point. <laughs> but, um, and in a scenario like that, it has to be discussed at government to government level first. Oh, of all, okay. Because the government needs to know: Are you looking after our people when uh, they come here? Uh, and um, so, at this point, we're not using um, folks from the Philippines. But if somebody came here from the Philippines and had a work permit, they could come down and work here. So that's not that's a problem. Good. And if you're living in New Zealand, you could come down here. And, uh, if, you, if you wished, you could come here and work there. So this year, I don't know what they're going to do. I think the Pacific Islands is going to be open. Uh, and it might be just those. Now, one quarter will be in the orchard picking. We're going to pick in daylight hours. We're not going to work at night. If it was harvest, we couldn't work today because it's raining and we can't pick wet fruit. 
but um, one quarter will be picking. They'll strip the orchard. They don't choose. They pick everything at once because we're going to sort them out in the pack house. Now, when they're sent to the pack house, uh, they will grade, <laughs> but the Japanese market will pay for that. But and sometimes they're even individually <laughs> wrapped uh, for the for the market. They look amazing, guys. And you've got to look at the market and say, what do the people want? Not everybody. Everything they cut out will end up on our other side and have a look at the gold ones there. Okay. So have, have the day. Oh. We're 14 years old. These plants here are only seven years old. So they're seven still very new. Once again, we have to have a male and female. Uh, this one here with all the fruit on obviously is a male, a female plant, sorry. Uh, this one over here, uh, this entire row here is males, uh, females on either side. Uh, this is still early days. Normally a plant will take four years before we see anything on it. So these are year seven, so it's still not a lot of fruit, but uh, good size fruit. And you'll yeah, notice yeah, yeah. they're a little bit bigger than what it's we saw in the one. green. Mm -hmm. And that's because they flower two to three weeks before the green. And that's good because it means there's no worry about cross-pollination between the two varieties. It does mean, though, we have to bring the bees in twice. First of all, to do the gold ones. Secondly, to do the green ones. Something you'll notice in the gold here is the string up and a teepee effect. Can oh, see is that it? Above me here. Oh, yes. What we're doing is the new canes to that create one. the canopy will be allowed to grow up string. You can see just over here how they're starting to grow up string. Mm. We'll have a look at um, shortly at uh, another area where you can see oh, yeah. uh, a lot better. The idea is that they will grow right up to the top by the time we come to um, uh, June, and then we'll cut out this existing canopy and drop a new canopy into place. Yeah. So they're not going to they're only going to throw out leaves when they head up towards the sun there um, and uh, when we lie them down horizontally then they'll throw out flowers and uh, fruit for us. So this is a new idea that one of the growers came up with. The industry has now made this common practice so that uh, everybody who grows the so gold, gold one uses a the long new TV effect. And well, now the industry owns board. the rights to the gold kiwi. And that means any grower who wants to grow the gold has to tender for it. Now the idea is they have to put in a price of how much they're prepared to pay for it. And they don't know what, everybody, what anybody else has put in price-wise. The average price last season for the budwood that was released by the industry for the growers, $400,000 a hectare. It's a lot of money, but these are giving us a premium price 000. in the market. Yeah, They'll get twice the price for one in the star? world market as they will do with the green ones there. But it's going to take them a while to get their money back. But it's certainly well worth it, and um, we're finding that we're getting plenty of fruit off the, uh, the gold ones there. So this is our new variety. The industry has ownership of the gold. Um, we don't have ownership of the green. Nobody put a plant patent on that one. So the anybody in the world can grow the green. They can't do that with the gold. If you want to have a little walk up here and take some photos in amongst the gold, you're welcome to do that. Once okay. again, you'll find they're rock hard. So they've yes. got quite a while to go as yet. Uh, and then we're going to take a drive in the cart and uh, have a look around. You all right? Oh yeah, that's all right. <laughs> Thank you so much. See all the fruit on there. As well. Yeah. So now we're going to the next destination. Okay, let's go for a little drive. And, uh, where did you go? You're so dirty. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> okay, it's time to go. Umakyat din yung dog. <laughs> Alam niya rin na magtutor siya. <laughs> May ari siya eh. Kaya nga. Mayaman tong aso na to. Keep na pinatin. <laughs> Paransom ng ano. <laughs> Yeah. 
Dito tayo sa read, maybe. Um, you can see a much better idea of how we've grown those new canes up the string here. And here we are, it's only the beginning of January. Oh, yeah. And they're just about up to the top. We're not going to use these until June of this year. So they'll be right over the top and halfway down the other side. But you can see that we'll be able to make sure we've got enough canes, oh, yeah. they're nicely spaced, and then just drop that uh, pole here down after we've cut out the existing canopy and then we can change our canopy. If you see this teepee effect in an orchard and your travels around here, you'll know they're gold because we're not using it on the green. The green canopies are too dense. Uh, but the, the new gold, we're using this teepee effect on oh, there. Okay. Also, when we look at the red one, you'll see that we're doing it in the red one as well. So it's a new idea uh, that the industry's come up with, and we're getting stronger canes by allowing this to, to happen. Let's okay. Go All right, let's go. So, ito daw po yung may mga string sa taas. So, makikilala mo siyang gold. Ano siya, gold kiwi siya. Kasi nilalagyan nila ng string yung mga taas. So, ayan. So, maliban sa green. Yung green, wala po siya. So, ano. Ah! Andito na yung doggy. He is the owner, guys. another company oh, they've allowed us to come in here and have yeah, a look they, down new red they, so if you wish you can step yeah, down yeah. and we'll check out the red ah uh, budding it's actually given us some fruit this year which is quite surprising oh okay they're rock hard again they're rock hard again yeah, exactly uh, yeah. 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 Now the uh, red variety is a new variety. Once again the industry has ownership for it. Once again if you want to grow it you have to put a tender in. The tender price for the red one was a bit lower than what we had with the uh, gold one. $60,000 was the tender price per hectare for gold. Uh, for the red one. But because the red one's new we still don't know what the problems are. So you're taking a little bit of a risk in coming in here and doing it. Now, when we had a look at the um, gold ones, we saw that the root stock there was seven years old. The fruiting stock on the top was the same, seven. In this case, the root stock is 25 years old. Oh, yeah. And it was green. Oh, and um, what they did was they chopped the top off here. Into that, they've grafted the budwood of the the red one now what your budwood is like long pieces like this and you cut it into little sections with a minimum of two buds on it you shave one end 
pull the bark back and slip it in there. And then you uh, hold it in position by putting tape around here. Now we can see they put three in here. Two worked, this one didn't. It just threw out a leaf and it's given up on us for some reason. For a long time. But uh, don't know why that's oh, no, 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 no. happened. But uh, that's just one of those idiosyncrasies. They've covered this with beeswax. And the beeswax will stop any disease and bugs getting in there. They, this around here, the green, is a special horticultural paint that they will paint on there. And that uh, stops, once again, disease. If we come over here and have a look at this plant, and this one is a male, so it's not a, too much of a problem. I know it's a male because it's got this green uh, tape around here. But you can see we put two pieces of budwood in here. Neither work. So what's going to have to happen here is autumn, they're going to have to regraft that. The best time to do grafting is spring and autumn. Winter's too cold, summer's too hot. So spring and autumn's the best time. They'll have to come along with a chainsaw and chop the top off on there. Yes. Now we can see there's nothing wrong with the rootstock because it's sending out suckers from here. <laughs> so that's it, it's operating all right. For, for some reason, this budwood just didn't work. Yes. Oh yes, there was some just over here. Maybe the little one right there. Is there? Show me. Oh, there's a hairy steam as well. Right. Well, that's so. One or two of the plants have thrown out some flowers and given us fruit. Normally, the first couple of years is only growth, and we won't see any flowers. But we're still learning about this red one. It's still a new fruit. If we go back over here and have a look, uh, you'll see that they're, um, they're quite flat compared to the green and the gold, which is an oval shape. This is quite flat on here. And the ones I saw in the market uh, were a bit heart-shaped. A uh, heart shape. Yeah. A uh, heart shape. But the ones I tried... It was like a dollop of raspberry jam in the middle. Ah, okay. So they're beautiful. And but, the skin is red as well. If they uh, it's, it, Well, it's a brownie colored skin. Ah. It will go a dark. Um, ah, there, there. Be careful with that, it. please. Thank you. Otherwise, they'll come off. So it's, it's yeah, it's, it's a dark. But I'll show you what a punnet looks like when we go back to the center. Ah, okay, so you know yeah. what to look out yes, for. Yes. Now, you know when you go into the produce section, there's the chiller there. And that's where at the moment you find the uh, strawberries and the uh, blueberries and the likes. Yeah. That's where you'll find these. Now, if you go in there and see them, uh, March, April, grab them, because next week when you go in, they'll all be gone. <laughs> there was only be one shipment coming in, as far as that's concerned, and it's being trialed in the marketplace. Uh, they trialed these in um, Singapore, uh -huh. and also in Japan. So they gotta see how well they travel, uh, we've got to see how well they sit in the international market and what the response is from uh, the the consumers there too. Yeah. So far, it's, it's been very positive. Um, but this is still early days. This plant's going to take a couple of years before it's going to give us a full amount of fruit. Once again, we put the string up here in the teepee effect and uh, we'll be growing the new canes up here and creating a canopy. Yeah, that's the one. So this is our new red one. This is the first year it's been in orchards, uh, apart from the it's last couple of years just with just trial. Just one year? Uh, just, just, just this section that. in here. Uh, uh, in this, this that is all, all red one. Yeah. And then all the others around it, well, further down from here is green, and over there yeah. is the gold ones as well. So the fruit, it seems like uh, with the gold one, it's not hairy, eh? Correct. Smooth yeah. skin on this one. Yeah. yeah, yeah, very yeah. So it's only the it's green one hairy. that has the furry skin on it. Uh, the gold one and the red one has uh, smooth more skin. more expensive. Oh. Well, they are, yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, with anything new like that, it tends to be a bit more expensive till they have the, the uh, large numbers and then the price will start to settle. <laughs> but remember, the supermarket set the price. <laughs> the kiwi fruit industry has no yeah. control over that. So what we pay in the supermarket is what they... Oh, as, as much as they can expect us to pay. They'll always try and up the price so they can make some extra money on it. Yeah. But you have to find a balance point. Sometimes the public say, I'm not paying that price for it. And then they have to drop the price on it. So that's the, uh, the red one. There is a fourth one, 
which is a little baby kiwi, the kiwi berry. We'll see those in the market um, February, March. They're there a lot earlier. I'll show you a punnet of those when we go back so you know what to look for. Once again on the chiller is where you'll find them. They have a smooth skin, they're about the size of a grape, oh, yeah. and you eat the whole thing on them. Oh, okay. Very Let's see. sweet. Oh, that's too. See. Yeah, so you'll like those ones. I but think we didn't again, see that, that in the supermarket. Yeah. That maybe cherry. <laughs> well, yeah you, yeah, you have to look on the packet. And, and oh, see, it was so in the packet. There, okay. That, uh, okay, that let's see. Okay, we're going to go over to the center and we're going to try some fruit. Okay. Where's the dog? Oh, uh, Tilly's probably on. So, yan, guys, pupunta po tayo ngayon sa loob ng. Uh, Oh, Charles, kasi titingnan natin yung, ay basta, titingnan natin yung cherry kiwi daw na hindi pa namin nakita talaga for how many years na dito kami sa New Zealand. So titingnan natin yan. Now, yeah. normally a pack would be like this one, a kilo, and that's the, um, the gold one. And oh, that's that for was selling week. at that particular time for six dollars. This is only six hundred grams, so it's a lot less. Seven dollars fifty. Oh, so a little bit more expensive. This is the little baby kiwi, uh, or the kiwi right. berry. So they come in a little punnet like this, probably about five dollars for those. Well worth it. If we have a look up on the wall here, you can see this is what the uh, kiwi berry looks like. Alongside the human hand, you can see how small they are, oh, okay. but smooth skin on them, and uh, well worth uh, checking on on there. Oh, how you going, guys? So, uh, Just let me through, and then I can chop some fruit for you. Right. Oh, okay. Are they doing the tour? No, no. Now, Gavin's got some uh, fruit here for you. You're welcome to, uh, to sample some of those. Uh, just give them a few minutes to cut everything up. And um, Kyle. then en enjoy your stay here in the uh, Bay of Queen. Yeah. Thank you so much. That's fine. Thank That's you. Cheers. Right. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so the gold kiwi fruit's really good for your eyes. Yes. It's full of lutein, so it's good for your eyes, it's good for your cardiovascular right. system. Whereas the green kiwi fruit um, has an enzyme in it that keeps you uh, regular. Very good for your bowels. Yeah. So both fruit are good for you. And then both fruit are full of vitamin C, magnesium, potassium, folate and fibre. Just fills, does a gold one. So yeah, I'm chopping up the gold. I have got a mixture of green and gold. Oh, just, there you go. Help yourself. Thank you. Hey. So yeah, the gold one is a lot sweeter. <laughs> good, is it? Just use these thick ones. Oops. Right, there's also a little bit of dehydrated good. kiwi good. fruit up here. Does anybody here eat the skin of kiwi fruit? <gasps> yep, good on you. If you do, it's really good for you, full of um, antioxidants. I'm not coming fast enough, am I? There you go, and I will chop up some more green as well. Green. 
Free. This is this this the greatest is, is um, the one that we've been it's been around for a long time. Yeah. Yeah. But there is you're right, there is a sweet green as well. Oh yeah. But um, this is just a normal green, but it is saying that it is this, this green is quite sweet. And the red I don't we don't have available because it's just it's, it's massively, massively popular. And so when we have it it just sells out very, very quickly. Have you heard of kiwi berry? No. So we sell the kiwi berries. Um, oh. kiwi the, the, berry. We sell them in little punnets, just like strawberries. Oh yeah. So like, like and those will be available February, um, March. These are really, really good for you. They've and got, you can eat the skin. Well. Yep, yep. You can eat the whole thing. Oh. Yeah, it's it's. Um, one the, the, there's no hair on the skin, so it's translucent. Um, four times the amount of vitamin C compared to normal kiwi fruit, oh, okay. loaded with antioxidants, so you're yeah, really, really healthy. <laughs> Do you want some skin on them? Okay. Uh, next one I do, I'll put some skin on them, okay? Oh, you want some skin? There you go. Get a bit of the skin. Really? Um, you can, but I know only about 10% of people eat the skin. Uh, most people don't like it. The gold is easier to eat. Ah, uh, yeah, but the green one is not. The green one is horrible. I don't yeah. like eating the green. Yeah. <laughs> it's terrible. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. Mm. Oh, okay. Okay. You like the skin? Mm. 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 No worries. Good to see people that like yeah, kiwi fruit. <laughs> kiwi red one. So you know who like the sweetest fruit out of all the countries that we export to? Japan. Japan? Yeah, China. I come from Japan. Do you? So yeah. the Japanese... Um, are one of our biggest markets and the sweetest fruit that we produce in New Zealand goes to Japan. Japan. Yeah. What about the least sweet fruit? Where do you think we send that to? Maybe here, Lachal. Uh, yeah, believe it or not, we get middle of the road. Yeah, yeah. So mainly Europe uh, and yeah. the countries that like, I think of countries Middle like East. Germany, Germany yeah. Sweden, Norway, uh, Switzerland, they like the fruit that a little bit tart. So it's good for us because we produce very sweet, we produce tart fruit, and we've got markets for all of that fruit. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, they're from Japan too. Are you guys from Japan? Yes. Which part of Japan? Uh, Tokyo? Um, Osaka. Me? Him come from Yoko Ken. Yoko Ken. Oh, yeah. How how Japan now say how are you like the greetings or how to speak at it? Yep. In Japan. Ah, in Japanese word. Like Arigato. Like, yep. What? Yeah, oh, you Konnichiwa. want the gold one. You want the gold skin. Konnichiwa gozaimasu. Okay, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me.
24 na itong isa sa iya nga ano. Okay, guys, we're going again in this side. So, ice cream time tayo. Can we put also a strawberry on it, please? Okay. Yes, a chicken. 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 Yes, There's a kiwi green, kiwi gold, chocolate, strawberry, oh, and hookie pookie. What's yours, Kyle? Chocolate. Kyle, yeah. what do you want? Yeah. Chocolate? Yeah. What about you, Nina? Yeah. Just then first, it's a, uh, what do you want? You first, don't want ice cream? Ordering a coffee. Oh, I want ice cream. No, just one. Just one, ice cream or popcorn? Okay, <laughs> Nina, I get ice cream. Yes. What flavor do you want, Tate? No. What is the choice? So this one, kiwi fruit ice cream. So we've got we've got gold kiwi fruit green kiwi fruit. We've got double chocolate, double strawberry, and riwa riwa hokey pokey. Hokey pokey. Yeah. And now next question, a cup or a cone? Cone. Single or double scoop? Single. That's the right question. Cone. I don't know what we're doing. But I think I need the coffee. The lunch? Oh, it's dry. Maybe I'm so cold. What about the kiwi? Did you order kiwi? Yeah. Kiwi ice cream. A little bit sour, but it's all good. I have a piece of the bag. I have a bag of the bag. Yeah. We'll pay. Yummy. Yummy. Enjoy. Yummy. 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 Double. 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 What flavor? Chocolate. Chocolate. Uh, so no popcorn now? No popcorn. Okay. He decide now. <laughs> Double scoop. Double scoop in a cone or in a cup? Um, in a cone. In a cone, okay. Double. And? Double. What flavors? Chocolate. Both? Chocolate. Both chocolate? Sure? Mm. Or you want other flavors? So why not the pokey pokey? for kiwi fruit. Yeah. If it's not going to be out, it's going to be out of the air, so it's not going to be out of the weather today. And one mochaccino. Okay. I'll make that. Yes. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. She been using the cone and she had a spoon on it. <laughs> so it's a thing. <laughs> oh, wait, I'll get it. Ayan, guys, we're done. So it's time to go somewhere else. <laughs> so I got my coffee. Yep. Oh, God, it's watery. And Kyle is doing idiot, idiot thing. <laughs> he is eating ice cream with his mom. And her Ate Nina eating ice cream in a cone with us. Kop, yan tanga tanga na naman. Kalas kayo kag tanga karuninay. Isave ng uban unya. It's no one opening. It's no one opening the door for me. Okay. All right, guys. It's time to move. Gusto mo pa? Okay, guys, are you enjoying? <laughs> Sexy sige, Kyle. Okay, we go to our next destination. Can you hold for a while so I can close the door? Hold it for a while, please. <laughs>